G'day, I'm Adam Collings. Welcome to Stories. Today I'm talking about the double fine adventure game Broken Age by Tim Schafer. Back in the 90s, I was a big fan of some of Tim's other games, like Day of the Tentacle and Full Throttle. I was very excited when I heard that Tim was wanting to fund a new adventure game through Kickstarter. As a backer, I've been following the development of this project, which has been a lot of fun. Broken Age is a coming of age story in a sci-fi fantasy setting. The game features two protagonists, Vela, played by Masasa Moyo, and Shay, played by Elijah Wood from Lord of the Rings. The game also features cameos by Jack Black and Star Trek's Will Wheaton. Shay lives alone on a spaceship, raised by a computer which presents itself as a mother figure. Everything about this ship seems to be designed to keep a child amused, from the toy controls in the ship's bridge to the robotic soft toys that keep him company. His days are filled with pretend missions. As a teenager, Shay no longer finds this life fulfilling. He longs for an escape from the routine and the over-controlling thumb of a computer that doesn't seem to understand that he's growing up. Vela lives in a village on a world that is terrorised by a monster called Mog Chothra. In exchange for leaving the villagers alone, the citizens occasionally offer a selection of maidens to the creature to eat. Vela has been chosen for this prestigious honour, and her family are very excited. There's just one problem, she doesn't want to die. Can't they find a way to fight the creature rather than feeding it? Both of these stories plunge us into colourful worlds, full of fun characters to interact with. Each has a very linear beginning, which eases us into the gameplay, but it also gives a very cinematic feel to the game. After you've overcome your initial obstacles, you're presented with more of a traditional open adventure game environment, which gives you plenty of scope for exploration. The story has some cool twists and turns along the way. This is the best type of twist. The sort that you don't see coming, but when it does hit, you hear yourself saying, oh, of course. Act one finishes on a fantastic cliffhanger. The story elements are resolved to a degree that you feel like you finished something, and some answers are given. But these answers give rise to a whole bunch of new questions. I had a lot of fun discussing the implications and possibilities with a few workmates after we'd all played the game. The voice acting in this game was very well done. The lesser known actors stand up well beside their Hollywood counterparts. Broken Age has a very distinctive art style and I think it looks really cool. It's all got this beautiful hand painted look, as if a storybook has come to life. The music in this game, composed by Peter McConnell and performed by the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra, was beautiful and set the mood very nicely. I especially liked the spacewalk music, very epic. Double Fine have put the soundtrack album out for sale if you're interested. The controls of this game are very easy to pick up. Coming from an old school adventure game perspective, I prefer to have a few verbs to click on. But Broken Age follows the later trend of doing away with them all. So all you have to do is click on things. The context determines the action. This control scheme makes the game very accessible to new players. The puzzles in Act 1 are not too difficult. So if you're not an adventure gamer, or in fact any kind of gamer, Broken Age is a great place to start. One of the cool things about adventure games is that they naturally promote problem solving through intellect and creativity, rather than through violence. If you're a parent, this could be a great game to get for your kids. I grew up playing stuff like this and I loved it. Act 1 of Broken Age is already out and ready to play. Act 2 will be released later this year, but if you buy Act 1, you get Act 2 for free when it comes out. I love this game and I can't wait to find out what happens in the second half. If you're looking to experience a fun interactive story, or if you're wanting to relive the glory days of adventure games, then you must check out Broken Age by Tim Schafer. I'm sure you'll have as much fun as I did. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find a whole bunch of ways on the about page of my blog at collingzone.wordpress.com. Catch you next time.